Our feet are often understretched, so let's fix that right now with this one simple pose that we'll be holding for a few minutes. So come to your hands and knees and tuck your toes under, making sure that your feet are together and your ankles are together. You want the heels to be straight up. And begin to lower your hips back to the heels, sitting on your heels and taking all the weight of your hips into the heels. Take your hands to your thighs and let yourself settle in resting on your heels and seeing how the feet are beginning to feel. Try to hold this as long as you can. I know it's not going to be easy. And let's work on the arms as we do this. Bring your arms out in front of you and cross the right arm over the left, giving yourself a big hug. Find your shoulder blades, cross above the elbows, and then bring your arms up and see if you're able to cross the wrist, touching the hands palm to palm. If not, you can touch back to back. Keep your elbows at shoulder height and let the shoulders soften. So this is eagle arms. Stay here for a few breaths. Getting your mind off your feet and focusing on your arms here. And then slowly release the arms. Circle the shoulders back. Extend your arms forward, this time crossing the left over the right, and once again, hug yourself, finding your shoulder blades. And take your hands once again back to back or palm to palm, lifting your elbows to shoulder height, letting the shoulder blades come down your back. And try to keep your back nice and long. Let the shoulders soften and relax, and hold it for a few more breaths. Slowly release your arms, uncrossing, and circle the shoulders back. Bring your arms behind you, clasp your hands, and draw the elbows in towards each other, letting the shoulders open. Keep your elbows bending towards the back of the room, and you can stay there, or maybe you like to hold on to opposite forearm or opposite elbow if you can comfortably reach. If you can go further, see if you can take your hands up and bring the palms together coming into your reverse prayer. Let the palms lightly press into each other. Draw the shoulders back and open up through your elbows. Keep lengthening the spine, bringing the navel in and up to support you and trying to draw the front ribs back a little bit more so that you're reducing the arch in your lower back. And then release your hands. And reach the arms up, interlace the fingers, and turn the palms to face the ceiling, lengthening through both sides of your body. Maybe drawing the shoulders back, maybe taking the arms a little bit further back so that they come behind your ears if possible. Release your hands, take your hands to the floor in front of you, and come to table. Tap the feet against the floor a few times, and see how your feet are doing after that. And then slowly come into your child's pose. And maybe that was really hard for you, but it's so good for you, and it's so good for your plantar fascia. So keep coming back to it. And if you wear a lot of high heel shoes or shoes in general, you'll definitely need this stretch. Practice it as often as you can. Thank you for watching.